The excessive heat watch became an excessive heat warning when it all looked likely, and that's for heat index values that could be at 110. And that's where we stand now. In fact, the heat index in Topeka has been at 112 this afternoon, and this is the hottest part of the day, so it's not good to be out. In fact, you need to either postpone or uh, maybe even completely cancel some activities here uh, because this is going to be a really rough stretch. If you want a date to plan something for, in case you do have to move it from the next day or two, it's next Tuesday evening or next Wednesday evening. It will be very spring-like by then. So there's the flags kind of flapping there in Junction City, but even in the shade, you don't get much relief as humid as it is. There's a look at Lawrence right now with just a few high clouds. It's pretty quiet. That fountain looks really good. Wow, to sit under something like that, just have that water beat down on the back of your neck. And there's a look now at the capital city. It is nice and green from all the rains that we've had, but it's a hot one. And the hottest we've been so far, the previous hot day was 96. It's 98 now. Heat index of 112. And there's that dew point at 76. Wish that could be lower, but it's not. And there's also a pretty good breeze blowing at some 15 to 25. So high of 98, average 90. The record high, 108, so thankfully nowhere close to that from 1936. And a 57 degree tent would feel great about now, but we're looking at 100 in Lawrence, 100 in the Manhattan Ogden area, Junction City out toward Abilene at 101. Salina has been one of our hotter spots at 104, and the dew points are really high in these central and eastern areas, slightly drier though out towards Salina, and that has allowed those temperatures to climb just a little bit more as a result of that. Really hard to heat up moist air, and that's why we have a lot of mid and upper 90s in these east and northeastern areas, but dew points have been at 75 to 78 in many locations today. Some spots getting a break to the far west, but most of us having to put up with really juicy and really, really heavy air. And we're looking at the mugginess continuing, but look what happens this weekend. It comes down. There's going to be a front that glides in with a trough from up north, and that will make a huge change in our weather as we go through the weekend. There might even be some showers and thunderstorms as we go from the oppressive heat and humidity to what's going to feel incredibly pleasant. It's quiet right now this morning. We had some clouds and even just a speckled shower or two kind of working through the area, but that's long gone now. The remnants of Barry way back over here toward the Ohio Valley in the northeast, but here's our bubble of hot stuff. But again, easing down out toward the west, and that allows some of those showers to try to get close. So there may be another patch of cloudiness early tomorrow morning that kind of zips on by, and there might be a shower too with that. But otherwise, the temps are going to start off incredibly warm, and then it becomes very, very hot and muggy. It'll be just like today, but maybe a degree or two hotter in some spots. And it looks pretty quiet until that front can arrive to trigger showers and storms on Sunday night and into Monday. So that's many, many days away. Here's the way it plays out with your numbers again, slowly easing off of highs in the upper 90s to near 100, 97 at 7 and 91 at 9. That's not very nice. 86 degrees in the 1 a.m. period and then gradually getting down to near 80. And then tomorrow, 101. It will feel like 110, 100 on Friday. But then look what happens here. We start picking up more clouds. We get into a chance of showers overnight Sunday through the first part of Monday. And then some mid and upper 80s with overnight lows near 60. That sounds absolutely incredible. So we're going to bring that down substantially.